my name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for coming by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make leftover turkey shepherd's pie. Now, I just smoked a turkey a little while back. I'll leave a video link below if you want to go check out the video. It came out delicious. But you know how it is this time of year. You have leftovers and you want to do something different. And this is a great way to take those uh, leftovers from Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner and make it into something a little bit different and just as delicious. So I have some leftover turkey, white and dark meat, some mashed potatoes, I have an onion, celery, and a carrot that I chopped up, some peas, real easy. We're going to cook it on the uh, stove here, we're going to put it in the oven with some mashed potatoes on top, some cheese, it's going to be absolutely delicious. So stick around, I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. All right, so I have a Dutch oven here and we're heating it up to medium heat. I'm gonna put in some butter, four tablespoons. We're gonna let this melt. And we're gonna saute those vegetables real easy. We'll give this a second, be back in a minute. Alright guys, at this point, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. It takes a while to get up to that temperature. The butter here looks melted, so I'm adding an onion, a couple stalks of celery, and a few carrots here. Now, if you don't have the fresh stuff, you can use the canned vegetables, or you can even use uh, frozen vegetables. Obviously, you wouldn't need to kind of saute them in butter like I'm doing right now. You can just add it after you make uh, the rest of it, but hey, I had this uh, left over, so hey, this is what I'm doing. So let this uh, cook and saute, soften up a little bit, and we'll be back for the next step. All right, starting to soften up there a little bit. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. And I'll leave all the exact measurements down in the video description. We got a little minced garlic. And then we're just going to give it a little bit of salt. Not too much because the turkey's got some salt in there. A little bit of, a little bit of kosher salt and a little bit of ground black pepper. There we go. And then you probably have this on hand. If you have turkey on hand, we're going to shake some poultry seasoning in here. Okay, not a whole lot, just a little bit. All right. Give this a good stir. We'll give it another couple minutes. I'll be back in a second. All right, here we are. Smells wonderful. Now we're going to make a little roux here to thicken up the sauce when we add the liquid. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. I got some flour. I'm just going to add a little bit at first, stir it in until we can't see any more flour. Now let's go for some more flour. All right, stir this, turn the heat down, keep stirring till you can't see any flour. It should only take a minute or so. It's been around a minute and a half. You can see I don't see any visible white flour in there. So now we're going to add a couple cups of chicken broth. Okay, we're going to stir this in. We're going to bring it up to a light simmer. And then we'll stir in some more ingredients. Be back in a minute. Alright, you can see it's starting to simmer. It's a very thick sauce, or should be at this point. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some milk. And we're going to add some gravy. Probably have some of that left over as well. Okay. 
Just stir that all in, heat it up. We're just about there. And we'll just let this kind of cook for around five minutes until this uh, soft sauce just thickens up just a little bit more. So around five minutes sauteing it, okay? All right, here we go. It's been uh, simmering. Now we're gonna add the peas. I add the peas last because these were out of a can and I don't want them to get real mushy. These pretty much heat up instantly. So we'll stir that in. And then last but not least, the star of the show, the turkey. Or in my case, smoked turkey. Okay, you wanna shred it up. I got some uh, white meat and dark meat in here. Stir it real good, get all that uh, turkey submerged in this delicious gravy that we made here. I mean, look at this. Wow. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm just gonna let this kind of sit here. Have all those flavors kind of come together. Just give it another minute or two. And I'll show you uh, how we get this uh, shepherd's pie assembled. Be back in a minute. All right, so it's been a minute or so. Now here's where you wanna taste it. And obviously add some seasonings if you uh, think it's necessary. Add some salt, some pepper some poultry seasoning, whatever it might need. I'm going to uh, go taste it and we'll be back in a second. All right, so I'm using a, a pie dish here. You can use a casserole dish. I've seen someone uh, get like those little individual pot pie, like uh, aluminum foil tins that you get pretty inexpensively. You could do that too and make like individual ones. But we're just gonna scoop now this delicious turkey. mixture into the container of your choice. Look at this, man. Oh, wow. And it should be thick like this because this is going to be a shepherd's pie. We don't want it super runny. this back and I'll show you the next uh, crucial step to make it a shepherd's pie. Be back in a minute. All right so now we take our leftover mashed potatoes like we kind of heated them up uh, in the microwave for a little bit. They're not obviously super hot because we're gonna put this in an oven for around 20-25 minutes. We just want them kind of soft enough and pliable enough that we can spread a nice layer of mashed potatoes on top. So We'll continue to do this, get some kind of spatula. I guess you could use either a spoon or a fork too, just to kind of mush everything together. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, here we are. We uh, kind of use the spatula, kind of move the mashed potatoes all around the dish here so everything's covered. Now we're just gonna sprinkle some cheese. We got a Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese blend. And we're going to just sprinkle on top and this is going to go into a 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. You want to make sure that mixture warms up, everything warms up, that cheese melts. Get that cheese around the edge. Yeah, there, there you go. Put it on a cookie sheet just in case it bubbles over. Man, I'm looking forward to this. We'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, it's been around 25 minutes. Let me pull this out of the oven here. Oh yeah. Woo! Definitely put a baking dish underneath. Let me just put that right there so you guys can see. Look at that. Let's take a close look. All right, here it is. Man. Smells wonderful. Cheese is nice and brown. Got a little bit of drippage from it uh, 
bubbling over. That just means it's hot and delicious. Let's uh, scoop this out. Be back in a second. All right, let's scoop some of this out. It's been sitting here for a couple minutes here, but it's probably very hot. Ooh. Well, there's a little bit of crunch. Man, you're putting a there big, a big crunch. amount here. Okay. Oh. Well, you have a big appetite. Well, yeah. Yeah, huh? All right. All right. Let's scoop some of that liquid in there too. There's plenty. All right. Wow. Reminds me of uh, twice baked potatoes, huh? Kind of, look yeah. Potato. Oh, look how hot the steam is just coming off. Wow. Great thing to do with your leftover turkey, guys. You yeah. saw it wasn't that hard to do either. Just got to cut up a few uh, veggies. And yeah. Well, use a bag of frozen veggies yeah. if you need to. Well, that I, works. I won't judge you. That'll work. I just like the fresh yours. stuff. Okay. All right. There you go. We're definitely based on the steam coming so off. A little bit here. more on my... <laughs> We're going to let this kind of sit just for a minute to there cool off. Yeah, we'll be back to give this a sample in just a second. Welcome back. I'm here with my wife, Monica. Hi. I hope this isn't too hot. It's really hot. It's like when I'm hungry, it's steaming. I'm gonna it try smells a, good, though. I'm going to try a little bit of the cheesy potatoes first here. Ooh. Hot. It's mm. really hot. I'm afraid I'm going to burn myself. No, that does remind me with the cheese and a little bit of the crust on there of a double baked potato. Okay, let me get some of this mm. turkey. Mmm. This is good. Ooh, look at the steaming. <laughs> oh, it is good. Alright. It's like the whole Thanksgiving meal in one pot or one bowl. Ooh. Mmm. You know what? I like the fact that we put uh, onions and celery and carrots, fresh ones, because they still got a little bit of a mm -hmm. it's like crisp the when, you, when you bite them. Yeah, no, I'm I afraid agree. if you just use frozen vegetables, it'd be mushy. It'd be a little too mushy. No, this is this but is boy, really good. It is good. It is good. Mm -hmm. I can't eat it though. It's so hot. Mm -mm. I want to, but I'm gonna, I don't want to burn my mouth. It's not that bad. But it is hot. Mm. Oh, I like this. It's kind of like a. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a turkey leftover. Mm. Leftover turkey. No, it's good. <laughs> That's very good. It's really good. Wow. I didn't think you could make leftovers taste this good. No, it's very good. I thought leftovers were supposed to be well, like, blog, what do you do with it? No, this is good. This that's is really the, good. That's the secret of uh, using leftovers efficiently. It's is really make something good. different that your whole family can enjoy, but they don't feel like they're eating leftovers. No, this is delicious. Which is the case here, wouldn't you say? Yeah, of this course. This doesn't taste like uh, leftovers. No, I mean, mm. wow. I hate to say it, but I almost enjoy this more than the original. <laughs> <laughs> it is this very is good. This is really good. If you like shepherd's pie and you got some leftover turkey from the holidays, mm. try this recipe, guys. I can't highly recommend mm. it enough. See it must little? be the Irish and Scottish in me. Yeah, maybe. I like, I, I, something that, I like traditional uh, shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. I've never tried it with leftover turkey, but, but that's good. what I had on hand, so that's what I use. This is good. This Logo is really on my good. shirt. You hit that in the bottom corner of the screen. It allows you to subscribe to my channel. Please do that. It helps my channel grow. If you like the video, also hit the little like button. That also helps my channel grow by encouraging more people to watch my videos. And if you want to see a specific recipe, I'll leave a link above and below to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com. I have photos and all the written recipes with links to the videos as well. So please go check that out. And Do as it. Always, They're I, good. They're really good. As always, I appreciate <laughs> you stopping by. Mm. They're good, huh? This is a good meal. I am one happy wife. Check those recipes out. Very good. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. I'm going to enjoy this. It's good, huh? Let's do it. Very good. All Let's right. Let's do it. See you guys later. Bye. Mm.